Oh, bara. Hello, everyone. Thank Giant for fucking on- squid. Giant fucking squid. Hello, everyone. Thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, welcome to uh, Absal. But we're going to... Uh, we're just going to call it Abzu. Uh, because fucking... Abzu, Zu. They, they got some weird, like... Uh, accent over accent the U. over the U, and... You know, it, it's pretty neat. It's a very indie, I, I don't know, indie style game. But I fucking love it, and I bought it, and I love it, and it's good. And I have no freaking clue, so I swear to God, you give spoilers, I'll kill you. It's so good, I love it. Okay, um, so, fuck. <laughs> there, there's one composer, fuck off. There's one composer that's part of, um, that's part of this game that I listen to quite frequently. His name is Eric Whitaker. I love his song uh, Sleep, but uh, it, have you heard that song? I think mm, no. we sang it for uh, choir. Oh my gosh. New game. Yes, new game. We need a new game. Um, we, we sang Sleep by Eric Whitaker, uh, which is a great song. I love it. Um, but did you know, well, probably not since you've never fucking heard the song, um, Sleep was originally written for a Robert Frost poem, and it was uh, fucking... You're talking to me, who I'm pretty uncultured, so I have no idea who Robert Swine is. You don't or know who Robert Frost is? Frost or Eric Whitaker. You don't know who Robert Frost is? What the fuck? It sounds like a guy that would play Jack Frost, but I don't know. Okay, Robert Frost is a... Ooh, the game. Yes. Robert Frost is a poet. Um, he He's the one who wrote, uh, Two roads diverged in a wood, I took the one less traveled. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that that's him. Um, Never heard of it. Basically, it's written for... I don't remember the full title of the poem, but it's like, uh, stopping by a wood in a, on a winter's night or something. And it's, it's such a good song. I'll, I'll play it for you in between episodes, but the, this game, um, it, it has Eric Whitaker. Uh, I don't remember what he's part of, but you know, he, he's there. He, he's there. <laughs> he's, he's getting it. He's he's there. Oh, dude. Yeah, this is us. This um, is uh. Are we human? No, we're a robot. Oh. It's pretty neat looking, honestly. It, it's kind of like uh. Crazy polygons, uh, very angular, but you know. We've got to be like, way into the future because this is like an AI robot. Yes, it is. Oh. It's- it's a, well, this is nice and peaceful. Yeah, it, it's... You know, I bought it um, thinking it was going to be like uh, Endless Ocean Blue World or something like that. Um, and it turned out to be a very peaceful uh, game. I didn't know anything about it other than it looked neat. I gotta tell you, man, this robot be thick. <laughs> <laughs> um Wow, okay then. Yeah, I, I didn't know anything about this game. <gasps> I was, yeah, we get to ride some shit. Ride that ass. <laughs> um, I, I didn't know anything about this game other than, wow, the case looks super cool, but um, yeah, fuck you, grouper. Um, so, we... I, I bought it and I was like... Fucking, Rock. <laughs> fucking wow, dude. Well, I wasn't like that at first. I was thinking... What the fuck? Where's the game? <laughs> because um, <laughs> is this to get to the main menu, or what kind of path are we taking? Well, here? like it's only an hour long, so we're all, um. Am I not okay? I can't do that. I guess. Um, th- this game's only an hour long, and uh, it's because the game is um, you know, set to music, so it's like basically just a playlist with game over it yeah um so it's you know it's very neat and calming all that fun stuff but um you know i was thinking it was going to be something much different we got we got a little buddy boy here 
Yeah, it's a little bubble, buddy. Can we can we interact with the things on the floor here yet? What what do those what does everything do? Oh, that attracted the fish. Yeah, never never mind. Um, when you touch them or whatever, if you interact with them, they uh, spout out some fish or whatever. There's we, another little buddy. We got another buddy boy. Jeez, you're just gonna get a whole bunch of them. Yeah, there's like three, but I, I don't I don't think we need three. We we just need these two. We're gonna name one Samantha, one Jeremy, and one Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> um. Fuck. Oh, he just laid his eggs all over that place. Uh, that was gross. Gerald, wait. Right? Oh. Hello. <laughs> I when I first played this, I got like so fucking scared because. I have no idea what this game's about, and like all a of a sudden, shark just <laughs> fucking pulls up. Like the fuck you up to? Yeah, it, it spooked me, my man. Um, he went through that hole. Yes, we're just gonna follow Sharky Man. Fucking your evil. character seems really small compared to normal wildlife. Yeah, honestly, I, I think that oh. Uh, this is the part that, like, really fucked with my brain for a minute. Like, there, there's a few of these, but, like, um, you know, we swim into fucking... We swim into the void, and then we have to restore some bubbly light or whatever. I don't know. It's super weird because, like, this and um, when the... You remember how the scenery was, like, all gray just then? Yeah. Um, that's the only two places that, like, there isn't music in this game. So I was thinking, am, am I not supposed to be here? If, if fucking, There's, like... Where am I? Got it just it. seems like a, a, a shrine that you have to complete. Yeah. What the hell? We gotta restore the sacred bubble or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a bunch of buddy boys. We gotta blow some bubbles. I'm gonna go punch them. What the fuck? They, they <laughs> I'm gonna go punch them. They need to know that Steve Irwin still has fighters. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Irwin still got his supporters, bro. <laughs> but yeah, there's like... I was always wondering, like... Uh, I started wondering when I started playing this. I was like, is there... Are we, like, in some sort of space water, or is this, like, deep water? Very, no, it's just magic. It's it's very condensed water. But now, that little grayscape that we were just in, it's all... It's all Alive now. Yeah, it's all beautiful. That's cool. That means that you're saving the ocean. Yeah. You have a purpose, and you're a robot. Yes. That's all you need to know. And then... This game doesn't really have any story other than, like, this stuff. And I think that's pretty neat. Whatever like, kind of uh, Atlantis culture that is. Yeah. Um, so, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. Um, so, I think this was all of Chapter 1. I mean, this honestly could be Earth. But at the same time, you really want to hope that it's some sort of alien planet. Yeah. Oh no, Samantha! Oh god! <laughs> At least it was a Jero. That I'm happy about that. <laughs> I that also scared the shit out of me. Saman <laughs> Samantha was a bitch. Samantha, yeah, fuck Samantha. Don't don't like, don't ever fuck a girl named Samantha. But like, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, fuck I Samantha. get you. So now our buddy boy returns to his You're whatever. Just going into the Pontiac symbol, whatever. Yeah. Here we go. End of chapter one. That was so easy. This game's easy. So I'm thinking we're going to do two chapters uh, per episode since, you know, this is only an eight chapter game. And then, yeah. and then we'll have four episodes and it'll air when a uh, guest train or dining car should. And it's not. <laughs> Which one's dining car? Uh, that is Nate. the green one with Nate and Tony. Though, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, the, um, very inconsistent show. Uh, I'd say, like... the per Okay, 
it's turning into one of those just Thomas the Tank Engine type stuff where it's just the engine and the the coal train that keeps it going. Yes. It's it's pretty much just that. We're like, I think, from from the beginning of the channel, um, the conductors has been the only uh, show that's been consistently uploading, and maybe that's because you know we. We we're the ones that don't have much to fucking do except you know play video games. Dick on the around. Couch. Um, but you know, fucking. I'm like honestly I... really sad about gaming, cause, oh god, what's the last like fucking amazing game I played? Wind Waker. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that that game's fucked. That's my number one. If I ever go to play that Paper Mario again and relive it, I'll yeah. probably say that's my number one. Um, but ah, I think Skyrim was the last big game for me. Yeah. And that one's really old now. Nothing else has like really excited me. Yeah. Prey? Yeah, that was pretty fucking cool. But it didn't give me the goods. It didn't get me hard. What? Um... What what about Evil Within? Come on, man. That, that was that at most gives me a chub. <laughs> it's not it's even a close. semi. It's just like a quarter. Cool. <laughs> just enough where it's like um, you can brag to your friends like, hey. "Oh, look how thick my." <laughs> I'm gonna stop <laughs> myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's good? It's your boy here. Stupid. Thick penis, uh, but. You know, it's not big. I'm not I'm, even a grower or a shower. I'm I'm slight I'm slightly erect. Oh, there goes our sharky sharky man. We gotta go. We got we're going fast. Fucking gotta book it. Ooh ooh. Swim, Forrest, swim. Okay, I'm uh, going for it. Uh, 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 it just like explode out the water. Very beautiful, this game. I think... It's really cartoony. Well, I mean... I Not think a it, bad thing. I think it honestly kind of looks like, um... Uh... Underwater, uh... Like, completely underwater, uh... Wind Waker. Because, like... Very cel-shaded and very, um... Very... What, whatever you call it. Like... Solid colors. I guess. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Vibrant colors, but they're all very solid and not, like, crazy variations. Yeah. Oh, here's a meditation thing. We, just, we could just hang out for a little bit. Yeah, let's... Oh, <laughs> you just face through the rock real quick. This is nice. Yeah. Shark comes along, takes your head off. Oh, fucking... Very soon. All in good time. Um, we gotta, we, we gotta get out of here. We can't, we can't dick around anymore. Why is that? Um, uh, because I don't want this to be a, uh, 50,000 million, uh, minute episode. <laughs> it seems like you're hitting the stream. Yeah. All right, dude. Oh, <laughs> all right. Fuck it. Okay. We gotta, gotta. Collect some fishies. Man, you're crazy, dude. How so? <laughs> See you later, dude. Oh, I'm trying to quote Nemo. Like, when oh, they okay. hit the, the current. The EAC, bro. Yeah, fucking <laughs> totally. Oh, fuck. Uh, crush. Mm -hmm. And God. Little Man. It's been forever since I've seen that movie. It was a great movie. Like, Finding Dory came out. Um, when, when was that? Feels like forever a ago. A year ago. Yeah. Um. Those, ah, fucking orcas. Those movies were darker than I thought. Yeah. Like at times, it's like depressing. It. Because it has a lot of color, but then when it gets to the sad moments, it's just all black. Everything. And everything sucks. gets dark. Like, ah. it's a fucking thunderstorm up above the water. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, I think that was one of the first Disney Pixar movies I ever saw. 
Because that came out about when the time we, when we were, were young kids, and still. Yeah. I think was Incredibles in the movie theater. I feel like that was the first one that I saw in the movies. Incredibles was before Nemo. That's that's all I can remember. Yeah, I don't know. Um, they're coming out with number two though. Uh oh yeah. Oh, um, uh, before we go into this, uh, want to next episode it? Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. It's, it's whatever. It's fucking. Yeah. All right. I hope you enjoy our absolute. Oh my god, we just pulled the fucking microphone. All right, see you guys later. Bye.